Unit had in its possession a picture of Kate with River Song whilst the latter was wearing her Demon's Run garb, as well as a photo of Kate with Clara from her previous visit. TV, the day of the doctor. She ordered the airlifting of the TARDIS to London, to the agitation of the 11th doctor. Kate summoned him there under the royal orders of Elizabeth I, giving him a sealed letter from the Queen and proving her credentials by showing him the impossible painting Gallifrey Falls No More within the National Gallery. The letter decreed that the doctor be made curator of the undergallery and that he be summoned should there be any disturbance there. Kate led the doctor and Clara Oswald to the scene of the disturbance. There, she showed them more paintings, all landscapes with glass on the floor next to them. When the doctor jumped through a time fissure and met the tenth doctor and the war doctor, Clara attempted to follow him before Kate restrained her. As she left the room to request important unit files, Kate was accosted by a Zygon who had escaped through one of the paintings and then took her image and pretended to be the real Kate to Clara Oswald. Osgood saved her from the Zygon nest. Kate, along with McGillop and Osgood, confronted their Zygon doppelgangers in the Black Archive. Kate ordered the countdown to detonate the archive with a nuclear warhead which would not only prevent the Zygons from having control of the many weapons stored there but would also destroy London in the process. The Zygon used Kate's voice to stop the detonation, but Kate countermanded the order. Kate and her Zygon counterpart bickered over the detonation, before the war, 10th and 11th doctors triggered the Black Archive's memory modifiers to confuse everybody in the room as to whether they were a Zygon or a human. The two Kates stopped the countdown and negotiated a peace treaty. TV, the day of the doctor. 